number three from H's book. And the question is, calculate this IX by performing a source transformation on voltage source. And source transformation is re redrawing this voltage source in series with parallel. We can redraw this as a current source parallel with a resistor. With the relationship between the current and the volt, the voltage will be I is equal to V over R. Basically, this is Ohm's law. And now let's do this source transformation into this part here, which is parallel to this one. And the V is 5 volt, the R is 5 kilo ohm. So we can calculate the current of the current source that will be 5 divided by 5. And the unit will be, because this is volt and this is kilo ohm, our current source will have the unit of milliampere. Okay, so now let's redraw this circuit with an equivalent source. We will have this one here, which is 1 milliampere. And then that will parallel to 5 kilo ohm. 5 kilo ohm. I think that's okay here. 5 kilo ohm. And then that will parallel to that 47 kilo ohm. 47 kilo ohm. And then we will have another current source here, which is 1 milliampere. And we are asked about what? About Ix. Ix is the current that passed through this resistor. Ix. Oh, this is not 57. This is 47. Let's change that. Okay. Maybe we'll use KCL. And assuming this is our ground. And we will do KCL here at Vx. Let's name this Vx. Let's do KCL at Vx. KCL at Vx. And we will need to assume the direction of the current here. This is going down. This is going up according to the current source. Let's do that. KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. There are two currents that goes in, which is 1 milliampere plus 1 milliampere. So 1 plus 1. And the other currents is going out. So I will have Vx divided by 5. And then plus Vx divided by 47. And that will be 2 is equal to Vx over 5 plus Vx over 47. So maybe we multiply both sides by 5 multiplied by 47. Okay. Let's do that. So we will have this on the left hand side. We'll have 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 47. And this one, this 5 will cancel into this. So we'll have 47 Vx. And this 47 will cancel into 5. So we'll have plus 5 Vx. And what can we get from here? Okay, 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 47 is equal to 52 Vx. And then our Vx will be 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 47 divided by 52. But remember that we are not asked about Vx, but about Ix. Ix, what is Ix? Ix is just Vx divided by 47. Okay, let's do that. That is Vx divided by 47. Okay, that means that we will have 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 47 divided by 52 multiplied by 47. 
this 47 will cancel each other Boom. and then our ix what is our ix ix will be 10 over 52 the unit is milliampere maybe to make it nicer okay we'll have 10 divided by 52 this one or we can multiply it by 1000 to get the value in microampere so i will have 192 192 microampere so this is the answer for ix by using source transformation okay that's exactly what the answer key told us and thank you for watching do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.